this uh, problem of uh, gate 2011 is based on the magnetic field boundary and uh, we will try to see that how to get a solution to this problem. First we will go through the problem and uh, then give the solution to this problem. The problem states as a current sheet J 10 U by amperes per meter lies on the dielectric interface x is equal to 0 between two dielectric media with the epsilon r 1 equal to 1, mu r 1 is 1, in region 1 and x less than 0 and epsilon r 2 equals to 2, mu r 2 is equal to 2 in region 2. Uh, that region is x greater than 0. If the magnetic field in region 1 at x equals to 0 is h i equals to 3 u x plus 330 u y amperes per meter then the magnetic field in region 2 for x 0 plus is there are four options given here and uh, we have to see which is the right option here. Let us see the problem here there is a region 1 the other region is region 2 and this region is for x less than 0 this region is for x greater than 0 the x coordinate is this vertical and y coordinate is the horizontal coordinate here and uh, uh, this is the boundary of the two uh, media and uh, where the uh, surface current density uh, or the current sheet uh, uh, density is given that is amperes per meter that is 10 amperes per meter which is directed in the direction of y. So this is the direction of the current sheet and this current sheet direction is given and uh, we have to find out uh, the component of uh, magnetic field the total uh, field magnetic field in region 2. So uh, the given is that H1 the magnetic field for uh, the medium 1 is 3 ux plus 30 uy. What we observe here we have to see uh, what are the tangential components and what are the normal components to the boundary. What we observe from here is the x coordinate is normal to this boundary. So x represents the normal component of the field. So we have here we have said that H1, HN1 that the in region 1 the normal component is given here by this 3 ux. Now applying the boundary condition Bn1 is equal to Bn2 we apply mu1 uh, hx1 equal to mu2 hx2 now uh, mu1 and mu2 are known this is 1 hx1 value is given as 3 and hx2 we have to find so we get the value for hx2 as 1.5 ux that means the normal component of the magnetic field in region 2 is 1.5 ux now uh, we have to find the other components uh, of the uh, magnetic field in the other region and we apply the boundary condition here for the tangential uh, component of the electric field. We know for this case the, uh, the tangential component of the fields are given in N cross HT2 minus HT1 equals to JS n is the normal uh, at the boundary surface going out of the surface. So this is n normal and this is ht2 and ht1 are the component. Now this uh, equation here could be written in this form also ht2 minus ht1 equal to js cross n the normal uh, unit vector so js we substitute the value for js here 10 u y and this is cross n that means u y cross n u y cross n if you try to see 
the y and the cross end. Uy is the direction of the uh, current density and n is the normal. You see Uy cross n will give me the rotation will give me the value at minus z direction. So this we have written as minus 10 uz. You can rotate and see uh, just Uy cross n that y direction and cross n direction. This is minus uz. So HT2, the tangential part uh, for the second boundary is HT1, the tangential part of the first boundary plus uh, 10 uz. 10 uz. So this is uh, HT1 tangential part is 30 ui here and this is minus 10 uz. Now we can uh, now write the complete uh, component uh, here because the 3 ux is the component which is normal to it. So what we observe here the option 1 is the correct option. Thank you.